Okay, so Python theory. Uh, this is the basics of Python. First thing that we need to learn is the print function. Now, the print function allows you to display something on the screen. Now, after you type print, you always need to put these parentheses. So these curly brackets are called parentheses. Uh, you use Shift and 8 normally to um, open it and Shift and 9 to close it. So you always need um, the parentheses with the print command. Now, um, you can display anything really. So what is your name and so on. Once you type it in, you can just press an, uh, a 5 or you can press run module, which will run your program. So this really just displays something on the screen. Next, we got um, syntax errors. So syntax errors is when you break in the rules of the language, the rules of the programming language. For example, missing brackets, missing um, quotation mark, missing um, or misspelling something, or putting something in capital letter. For example, here we got print in capital letter. Um, here we're, we're missing the parentheses, and then here we're missing the quotation mark. So, next we've got variables. So variables are really important. They're always used in programs. So a variable is a location in memory which stores data that can be changed. Now you can think of it as an open box. You can put things inside the box and then you can take things outside the box and replace it with something else. Now a constant is also a location in memory that stores data. However, a constant value does not change while the program is running. Once you store something inside it, that's it. You can never change it again. So it's like an a, a, it's like a locked box. So once you put something inside it and you lock it, then you won't be able to uh, change it again. And here we have an example of a variable. So we've got film. Film is a variable and is storing the value frozen inside it. Now, when we're printing film, so print, remember, displays something on the screen, and then we say print film. So you can see there is no quotation mark around films because film is a variable. You never put quotation marks around variable. So this program will display frozen because it's displaying the value of film. Um, for example, if I put name equals Jeff, and then I put print name, this will display the value of name and it won't display name. But if I put quotation mark around name, now this will display just name. But you can do it in a full sentence really. So you can use concatenation, which is the comma or a plus sign in, um, in Python. So here, as you can see, we've got film equals Lion King. So we're storing Lion King inside the variable film. And then we're printing, which is displaying, my favorite film is, and then film. Now remember, film is storing Lion King. So Lion King is being stored inside film. So this program will display my favorite film is Lion King. Um, I'll show you another example here. So you can say, uh, your name is, and then remember to concatenate, which is joining things together, we use the comma in this case. And then we just put name. Now this will display your name is Jeff. Next we've got the input function. Before the input function, um, if you're storing numbers, so number equals 10, you do not need to put quotation mark around the number. So you just print number and it will display 10. You do not need quotation mark around it. Um, next we have the, print fun uh, the input function. So the input function is used to ask a question. So in this case, we're creating the variable called name. Then we're asking the user a question. So we use input. This will ask the user something and waits. And then the question here is enter your name. And then we print in, which is displaying name. So that's whatever the user in enters. Now here, I'm just gonna create an example on hobbies. So I've created a variable called hobby. And then I'm using the print function to ask the question. And then you open the parentheses and then you say, what is your favorite hobby? And then we close the quotation mark, close the parentheses. Next, I'm going to print my favorite hobby is. And then remember to concatenate, join things together, we use the comma. And then we put the variable name hobby. Now, when I close this, 
and run it, you can see it says what is your favorite hobby. And it will stop. It will not do anything until I type something. So if, for example, if I type football, it will display my favorite hobby is football. Now you can see this is because hobby is storing the value football because I just typed football in there. So when I'm printing something, when I'm displaying it, it displays my favorite hobby is, and then hobby, which is football in this case. And that's pretty much it. That's all um, all you need for the current theory, uh, which is left for lesson one. Uh, so just remember, input is with I N P U T. So you don't put M instead. It's always N. A lot of students misspell it. So just be careful.